guys, this is Brooklyn. Say hi. Hi. And in her hand, are three babies. Snowflake's the white one. Oh, this is Wiz. Hey. Yeah, there we go. Oh, she not. And Ivy, the black and white one. And over here we have little Snowflake. Now, today we will be doing it up my lovely mouse pen and showing you guys how to set up a mouse pen for your precious little babies. Now, let's get into the video. Okay, so this is the mouse pen. You can get these from Kmart. They're pretty good. They aren't actually labelled mouse pens, but I figured these are perfect for mouse pens. And I was right. This is what they look like. Now first we should sweep it. Because it's a bit dirty. So if your inside of your pen is dirty, I suggest you sleep, sweep it. Don't sleep it, sweep it. Okay, we just swept it. It may not look like it, but it's just the lighting on the camera and a few stains from having a bird in here. This pen has many different good uses. Now, first off, we suggest you put different little tunnels in. These you can just get from little paper towels and toilet rolls. You, these are good for mice to crawl crawling through and chew on. Not humans though, okay? Now, we also have a few toilet rolls. Now let's put these all in. Another good use, which is very important, is adding mouse food. So if your little baby mice or full grain mice get hungry, they still have something to eat. A food source, as you may call it. So let's add that. Secondly, we have this little Christmas decoration reindeer. It's got little holes so they can climb on it and go inside it. Don't worry, we've tested it, the mice don't get stuck. But we usually like to put it on one of these things so that it stands up and the mice don't fall over with it or get squashed by it. Let's do that right now. So another good snack, a treat, is OXO cubes. Be warned, not all mice will like these, but most of them really do. Let's add a little OXO cube into the mouse pen. Now this is what the mouse pen will look like so far. Another idea which you don't have to do is little balls. Made out of clay. Yeah, we added a few holes so that they can like pick it up easily. And get more grip. Yeah. We put it on an ice cream lid so that they don't roll around and get lost. But when if you're making these, you have to make sure they're not too small so that the mice can choke on them, but they're not too big so that they can't pick them up. Be warned you mice not, not go to might not go to these or annoy them. Another idea is a little mirror. It's like a Barbie doll mirror of some sort. They love looking at themselves in the mirror. They really do. Now let's just add that down in there. I forgot to mention, this mouse pen has a door so you can like open it up like this. It'll be good for getting good clips as well. If you're planning on filming it. Another great idea is like a little teepee. Made out of sticks too. Yeah, it has like real sticks, string and fabric in that. This is DIY we made it ourselves, didn't we Brooklyn? Yes we did. And this is a so free thing. Comment down below if I should do a tutorial on how to do this. Now, this isn't a comfortable thing yet, is it? We have to add something so that the mice add it, like it. It's like toilet paper. We get it from our wonderful supply, toilet paper. Well, oh, ignore that. That never happened, did it? We rip out the toilet paper and put it everywhere and they love chewing it up. Actually, they bed in that. That's like works as bedding as well, but they do like chewing on it. Remember, we're not experts. So if you're looking for a video of experts, this is not a good idea. Also, a few more toilet rolls just 
just for more fun. So this is what we're looking like so far. We have little toilet rolls in here, bigger toilet rolls, a little place for them to rest if they get tired, and things like that. We've also got this little castle and we put little holes in it so they can stick their heads in. It goes all the way, made out of toilet rolls, tape, cardboard, and we've put some tissue at the bottom. This is another DIY activity that we did. It has like, it's like a little castle. They can go up to the inside and lots of different things. Trust me, they do use it. Now, what else do we have in the box of entertainment? Oh, oops. We have this little thing, a little like, we use it as a chew toy. It's pretty nice. It's a little like Pokemon thing. No, it's an Angry Birds thing. They like chewing on things and they need to chew on things. Doesn't matter what, as long as it's safe for them. I use Barbie shows, little things like that, and like that. It's really good for their teeth, because their teeth have never stopped growing throughout their whole lifetime. And it is really good for them to chew on things. Now, another thing, I haven't really tried much, but it's making little DIY nests. Nest. This is like a little fabric thing off the end of pants. It's like off the end of some pants. I'm going to like fold it up like this. Right like that. Can't really see it properly, but we're going to sit them in round the ground. It may seem really crowded, but it's actually not. They're real, remember, they're really small, so it's actually not that crowded for them. So this is the end result of what it's looked like so far. Mice. Next, you have to add your beautiful mice. Alright, so just going to zip the door up. You don't want your little baby mice to escaping. Did I mention they love climbing on here? Yeah. They love climbing on nets and all sorts of other things. Let's watch them play for a bit. Looks like the mice really like their new home. It's not their new home. Their it, play area. Yeah. <laughs> they have obviously have a lot of energy to burn. Putting them in pens and balls is a really good idea. And also lots of things to play in and climb in and explore. Thank you guys for watching and please hit the subscribe button on both of our channels. Bye. Bye.